Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be building a TBR cart and I'm going to be kind of rearranging my shelves and maybe giving kind of like a shelf tour. <laughs> I love watching shelf tour videos and so I thought I might as well make my own. I have a couple reasons for why I wanted to build a TBR cart. Um, the biggest reason was because these are not all my books. All of my books don't exactly fit on my bookshelf. So let me just give you a quick tour of all the books in my apartment right now. So I have books here by my bed, here on my dresser, here in this bag, and there in that box. So yeah, that's a lot of books <laughs> and I need somewhere to put them. I don't want to build a second bookshelf because I'm planning on moving here next year and I don't want to build more furniture just to have more furniture to move in a year. You know what I mean? Like I know a year is a long time from now, but like furniture adds up, trust me. <laughs> so I'm just going to put together the TBR cart and then I'm gonna start rearranging my shelves and I'll kind of like explain to you what I'm doing and why as I'm doing it. But first let me build my shelves. <laughs> So here's kind of what I came up with. It's not the most aesthetic, but I'm kind of making it to be functional. So on this top shelf here is the books at the top of my to read list. So these three are currently on my July TBR. And then some of these other books I just got recently and I want to read them. I'm not gonna go through all of them because I think that's kind of boring. So under here, I just have a biker romance. I love those. <laughs> so moving on to the next shelf here. These are all books that I want to do videos for. Um, I don't feel weird showing you because you don't know what the video is going to be. And then on this bottom shelf, I have books that I want to read, but they're not top priorities. Mostly they're romances. And then we got one here that is a dystopian sci-fi. And then this one is like a YA romance, but all the rest are romances. We got some historical romances in here. Excited to read those. We'll start at the top. So up here are like my white books. I have Lie to Me, which is a thriller, Imposters, which is one of the books in the series that was on my cart, uh, The Uglies. It's a dystopian sci-fi. We have We Are Liars. I did a video on that. I'll have that one linked. And then all of these are in a bulk of books. In college, I took a author class and all of the books were on Vladimir Nabokov. And honestly, that was my favorite college class. Sorry, this camera is all over the place. Also, I just kind of want to preface by saying that, like, no, my shelves aren't the most aesthetic, but they're 
personalized to me and it is what it is like this is the books that i like to read i don't have all these current ya fantasy books that a bunch of booktubers have i have books that i like reading and i have books that i've had for like a really long time also these are the billy bookshelves from ikea like the ones that literally everybody has <laughs> so i have this cute star it says dream big and then behind it i just have my rainbow books because the majority of my books are black or dark colors these are like the only light colored ones i have except for ones that fit into other categories so this was a book given to me not too long ago got the da vinci code and then some other books i've read most of these i haven't read all of them this one i want to read a little bit closer to october because it is a horror and then moving on to this side these are my classics and books that I had to read for school. Got some Shakespeare, The Giver, and the books from The Giver. Uh, more Lowry books, The Scarlet Letter. I haven't read this one yet, but I want to soon. Great Gatsby, Of Mice and Men, The Bell Jar, Mall Flanders. Mall Flanders is actually like a really, really old book. I think it was like the first novel to ever be considered a novel, like ever. I think I had to read this for my Brit Lit class. So that was horrible. Moving on to my next shelf. This one is kind of my favorite shelf. I just have some flowers here that I got from Michaels. So we'll just move those real quick. From here to here, except for Divergent. From here to here is my thrillers and my fantasies. So we have The Wife Between Us, which is a thriller, Akatar series, my Natasha Preston's. I got another one somewhere. Two, I got two more somewhere. <laughs> uh, Jillian Flynn. Gillian Flynn? I have no idea how to say her name. I always call her Gillian Flynn, but then I hear people say Jillian, so I, I have no idea. Divergent. This I got an Owl Crate box. This is like a tin that you can open. But yeah, just have like some bookmarks in there. We got another fantasy I haven't read yet. And then these are all paperbacks that are like the same size. As you can see, a lot of my books are well-loved. <laughs> a lot of these books are hand-me-downs or they are thrifted some kind of second hand. These aren't really in any kind of order except that I have like the dark colors on the bottom and then the dark on top and they kind of just fade into lighter colors. I don't know. I I like how it looks. But also here we got a wide wide range of genres. So we got horror, we got thriller, YA thriller, children's book, Gone with the Wind, psychological uh, fiction, vampire book, Go Ask Alice, fantasy. So they're really just kind of all over the place. So moving on to the next shelf is this shelf. I have these decorations with this really cute horse and some more flowers and we'll just move those for now. So this shelf doesn't really have any rhyme or reason either. <laughs> the only thing that is going with this shelf is that they're kind of in a height order except for when you get here. I'm actually gonna move this one to up here. Kinda go with my pink books. Beautiful. These books are also all over the place. We got Edgar Allan Poe, we got poems, we got fantasy, uh, this is from The Hunger Games, a collection of fairy tales, thriller, romance. I, I mean, they're, they're really all over the place, okay? But yeah, so these are the books on this shelf. Not the prettiest, but you know what? They're books that I have. So the thing is, I used to have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of books, <laughs> but I no longer have access to the majority of the books. So these are ones that I've collected within the past couple years and the ones that I took from my childhood. So we're gonna move on to this shelf. This is one of my favorite shelves. So I got some Harry Potter stuff. I got a Harry Potter book and then everything else is like a series. So we got the box series of the Golden Compass, the Wake series, Wake? is my favorite book ever. The other ones, not so much, but I had to read it because I had to know the rest of the series. V.C. Andrews, Flowers in the Attic, those were great. Fifty Shades, Don't Worry About It, Twilight, Twilight Graphic Novels, and then I have Stephen King, Green Mile. Uh, these I haven't read yet, but I'm gonna read a little bit closer to October. Moving on to the bottom shelf, it's a mess. I know it's a mess. <laughs> this is a stuffed animal I got for Valentine's Day, like two years ago. <laughs> Everything else besides these two, we got, you know, Mermaid in My Bathtub and Fever 1793. I'm kind of reading both of them. All of this other stuff, except for that one, are textbooks or books that I had to read for school. 
including Watchmen. I had to read that for an American literature class and it was like one of my favorite classes and I loved it. Everything else is a textbook. These are textbooks, these are textbooks, not textbooks. But I like to keep them because I go back to them and like reference them sometimes or sometimes they have like a story that I really want to go back to. Like this textbook is just a collection of sci-fi short stories. So I definitely want to go back to that one day and read it. All right, so that's my bookshelf and my new TBR card. If you read any of these books, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.